Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today's video is another one full of TikTok hacks. Now this one won't just be cleaning hacks. There are kitchen and life hacks in here that I think are just too good for you guys to not know about. So I'm gonna share them with you in this one. If you do like how this one goes and it's not just the cleaning and you enjoy the life hacks, please let me know down below because I can make a ton more of these. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and let's go ahead and get started. The first several hacks I'm gonna do are on the cleaning side. So for any of you guys that are here just for the cleaning ones, they'll be right here in the beginning of this video, starting with this first one that involves Easy Off. Yes, I know a lot of people don't like this. It's full of cleaner chemicals and all that gross stuff, but this stuff is amazing. And apparently you can spray this on your glass top if it's really gross and disgusting. Leave it overnight, clean it in the morning, and it should just wipe everything right off. And as you can see from this clip right here, this is what my stove looked like before. I went ahead and sprayed it with a really good spray last night, and now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it, and it has been on for about 13 hours. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a clean. This is what it looks like, about 13 hours of it sitting on there, and it says just some dry, clean paper towels, and you should be able to wipe it all off. Let's see. I mean, look at that. That's disgusting. Let's go another pass. Just look at that. That's just fantastic. Okay, and finished product. You guys saw the before. That is an amazing after. This hack clearly works, that after speaks for itself. I did wipe it down with a, a wet dish rag with some Dawn on it, just to get any last residue and stuff off, but there was no scrubbing, it literally all just fell right off. It's perfect, and if you are worried about the strong smell, they do make easy off in a fume free right there, so it was not unpleasant to have this in my house last night. The next hack we're gonna talk about is a fast way to clean your air fryer. This will work on the Ninja Foodie style or the one with the pull-out basket. It works on both. And by the way, if you've never tried air fryer grilled cheese, you are missing out. So I will recommend that with this video as well. I mean, just listen to the crunchy goodness. So, so good. If you want to know, I'll just put it down in the description box down below how to do this, but I'm gonna show you how to clean that. How this one works is basically it's just water and Dawn and you heat it up and basically cook it in the air fryer and it takes all that old nasty grease and food off of your air fryer. I would not go above a tablespoon of this and that might even be too much so you don't actually have an exploding mess. I have tried this hack already previously. I do know that it works. They say 400 degrees for 10 minutes. I found that to be an unnecessarily long amount of time. I've done it for five, I've done it for seven, I've even done the full 10 and they all worked great, but do the 400 degrees. Down in there you can see all the crumbs and the grease and things like that. So I'm gonna put water, not all the way to that line, but I'll show you. There's my water line. I did not go up very far, just where I could see some food marks on it, because you don't really need a whole lot because it is going to bubble up while it's in here. Some good old blue Dawn. Give it about, just about like that. It's about all you need. Close it up, turn yours on however yours turns on. Just make sure it's at 400. I'm going to do the TikTok time, but it's not necessary. Like I said, you could even do five minutes or seven minutes. You don't need the full 10. Okay, this way you guys can see it just finished. There's no crazy bubbles coming out the top or anything like that. So if that's what you're afraid of, one thing, no, that didn't happen. Let's open it up. Okay. See, no obscene amount of bubbles or anything like that. You're not gonna get that. Now, if your air fryer is really, really gross, then yeah, your water is gonna be like a nasty shade of brown. And then this, you just need to rinse off and it's good to go. There's all that. And again, just rinse it out and you see no greasiness in there whatsoever. So just rinse this out and it's done. Yeah. See, there's still bubbles and soap under there. So if you do have where it comes off into two pieces, I would say just take that piece off and wipe it down. No food, no grease, no scrubbing. 
The next two hacks involve the bathroom, one involves the toilet, and the other one involves the mirror. First one's really simple. If you have a real toilet brush when you're done cleaning it, just leave it in the lid like that to dry instead of going ahead and putting it back in the little bin, leave it like that to dry while your stuff sits in your bowl because it's gotta sit for a few minutes to sanitize anyways. All right, I'm hoping I don't echo or anything like that, but I had to shut the door because my noisy family and you'll hear them. So, hack number two is for those of us with short girl problems, you need your Swiffer, a microfiber, and whatever glass cleaner you plan to use and it's gonna help you clean the mirror. If you've never paid attention to my Swiffer hacks on my channels before because I've used stuff like this on my channel all the time, Swiffers have these little spots right here that hold the pad in place. You can put a microfiber in those holes. So you just put the microfiber over the Swiffer and then push it into these little spots and it will hold the microfiber in place. Now I'm gonna move these things so I don't knock them over. Spray your mirror. And then no stool, no nothing, just use this like you would to clean the mirror off. Just like that. Oh, and I caught a tree. <laughs> there you go. And you can go back if there's anywhere that you missed, like over there. And now your whole mirror is done. I love this hack. You guys know I love this hack. You've watched me use it on my channel to clean the windows that I can't reach because I'm too tiny. So I've used this thing a million times on my channel, but again, we're showing what's viral on TikTok and this is one of them. This next one doesn't actually pertain to the bathroom. I'm just gonna use the sink in here because I'm gonna be able to show it to you and it's better that way. But if you have a cleaner and it's not spraying quite the way you want it to and it's coming out too much foam, look at the top of it. Now keep in mind, I have cut so many cleaners in my house. I have very few bottles that have this feature, but if you look at it, you will sometimes see a part that you can literally pop off or open. Like see this one's coming off already? And it'll come off. So it'll change the way it sprays. Okay, now you can see it has a little extra piece on it. Hang on, let me see if I can get it to where y'all can see. Look, I'll spray it up here. It's more foamy, spray's different. Little piece is gone, spray's better. You can even hear it spray better. But like I said, I had tons of cleaners in my house and it was very hard for me to find a bottle that does it because it's usually a cleaner that has a foam and just a spray option and typically you can make it do one or the other by just either pulling the whole piece off or it'll kind of flap open. Brand new coffee creamer has that really annoying metal piece in there that you don't want to struggle with, you don't have to. It's really easy. Instead of having to pluck that up and fight it, in your lid there's this little piece right there. You see that? I'm gonna show you what to do with it. Completely sealed. You take this little plastic piece, you go to the top, pop it down, just like that. Pops right through. Screw this back on. Pours like new. Okay, haven't tried this one yet. It is the frosted sugar cookie. Yeah, while I'm at the fridge, another one that'll make you feel stupid thanks to TikTok did not know this. Mustard right here. You open the lid, the lid's just kind of dangling there while you're trying to squirt it. It clips on to the back of itself. Yeah, would have never known that. The next hack is for strawberries and how to keep them fresher longer. Now you guys have seen, I have the food saver containers. They've got the green and white lid on them. They're very good. My strawberries last well over a week in there. I've been told, store your strawberries in a glass mason jar and do not clean them until you're actually ready to eat them. So these are straight out of the pint into this jar in my fridge. They've been in there about five or six days now and they look identical to when I put them in there. So yeah, this one definitely works, I will say that, but yeah, they look perfect. But again, don't wash them. Something about washing them does something and makes this where it doesn't work, so just straight from the store into your mason jar and in your fridge. And one person had their strawberries on there, I think for like three weeks in their jar. Now that'll never happen in my house because my kids are animals and I've had to hide these in my fridge, but yeah. They last a while like this. 
Let's talk about cans. Two different kinds of cans. One, I'm gonna show you the proper way you're supposed to use your can opener. And did you know that you're probably opening this kind of can lid wrong? Because I have been my entire life and had no idea. So if you're like me and you have this kind of lid, you just pop this up, turn your can around and pull. That's not right. What you're supposed to do is pop this up, turn it around, turn this thing all the way around, then grab it. See, it don't work. I got a different can because this one legit says on the instructions to do it the way that we always have been. So we're gonna put that one to the side. No instructions, we're gonna try this one. All right, so it says, pull the tab. Turn. Turn the tab, which is next to impossible to do. And then lift. Oh yeah, okay, so that's really easy, but I don't see it being any easier than... Can opener time! How many people actually just put it on the side like this and start cranking? No, 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 no. You're supposed to lay it on the top rim of the can, squeeze it on, and then turn. The reason for this is it takes the entire lid off, just like that, so that way it's not sharp on you and you don't have to that whole jagged edge where you gotta dig the lid out, you don't have that problem. There is one small flaw in opening the can this way. If it has liquid inside, like canned vegetables, it does leak out while you're doing this. It shakes some of that liquid out. So I would say open it on a paper towel beforehand. I was doing this to show you guys, obviously. But it does make a mess if you are opening a can with liquid. The can opener hack, I will tell you to do all day, every day. This is how I've been opening my cans for a while now. I love this one. The other one with the little turning of it and everything, that's up to your choice if you find it easier. For me, I just do it the old fashioned way, but you do you. Another fast, easy one. Hate dealing with bread ties or lost your bread tie? You don't need it anyway. Take your bread, twist it around, pop open the top part, and just pull it down over your bread. Just like that. Fast, easy trick for pancake mix. Just a whisk, and it comes right out, just like that, and into the bowl. So easy. The next hack I showed you guys on my channel sometime last year when I was doing all of my holiday baking. It is a hack for how to separate the egg yolk from the egg white. If you need it for something and you don't have a separator or you don't wanna do the whole back and forth of the shell, it's just an easy trick for that. You need your egg and you need a water bottle, that's it. Now, if you are going to use the yolk in a recipe or something, make sure your bottle's clean, not an old dirty one. Take your egg, crack it in a bowl. Take your water bottle, suck the air out, put it on the yolk, and suck the air back in. Then you could shake the whites out, and it's in there. Boop. Completely separated. Cereal box time. I hate the way they have these things closed, and by the way, how they do not have a zipper bag in there yet, I do not understand, but there's an easier way to close these. First things first, the traditional, where you just put the little tab in there like that, my kids always leave it open. The cereal always goes stale faster. That's why I have the containers in my pantry is because of this. Well, make sure these little side pieces, make sure these little side pieces are down first. And then you're gonna push in like that. Then you're gonna take one side of this and you're gonna pop it down like that. And the other side, will fold over like that. That's one way of doing it. Still works, still closes it all in. The other way is you still pop them both in there like that. And either way, it's still closed, still sealed up, better than before. 
The next several hacks all involve cutting some kind of produce, so I'm gonna keep all those bundled together, and the first one I'm gonna talk about is the onion. These things kill me every single time. I even had some green onions I was cutting last week for a HelloFresh dish that were burning my eyes. So with this one, basically you just need a paper towel to make this hack work. I already cut it open to peel it just to see how potent it is, and it's pretty strong. So it says take a paper towel, wet it, and put it on your cutting board by the onions. And it should make it where they don't hurt your eyes. So I'm just gonna start chopping this thing up and let you know. Initially, when I was cutting this, nothing. Right here at the tail end, it's finally starting to get me a little bit. So maybe if the paper towel was on the other side of the cutting board, closer to me, I don't know. I will test that theory out, but it did not get me till the very end. And just for a reference, these usually get me really bad right at the beginning. So this is usually at the start of my cutting. So I will already say this does help. Next item up for cutting is a bell pepper. Now I have showed you guys my preferred way. It is the easiest, cleanest way to not have any seeds and stuff to deal with, but I'm gonna show you the viral TikTok hack. Okay. Down here on the bottom, you see these little grooves? That's what you're going to cut into all the way down the bell pepper. If there's four, you cut into all four. And then what you're supposed to be able to do is just peel it back and it pops the center out like so. But it's supposed to make it where you don't have to deal with the ribs and the seeds. It lies. You still have all the ribs and seeds right there that you still have to clean up and there's still ribs and seeds all over your board. So no, this is not the easiest way. But then basically when you're done and you have your three or four planks, depending on your pepper, then it's just easy to go ahead and slice away at your four little sections. Did you know you can close the block of cheese back up with itself? All right, make sure you cut the package through and through. Now you have this part right here with all the exposed cheese. This part right here with the cheese that you're about to use. Keep this little part, put the exposed cheese back in the wrapper. Just like that. And it will stay sealed up in your fridge. As y'all know, we do a lot of our shopping at Sam's, so we get a lot of these bigger bags. If you have something that has to go back in the freezer, fruit, chicken nuggets, these are pizza rolls, and see how my husband just decided to cut right on into the side of it there's a better way to keep this fresh in your freezer. You're gonna cut a V out of the middle. Okay. Leaves you with two sides and a V. And just tie it off. Now it's sealed it back up and you're good. This next one I have not tried yet personally, but we do have tacos or Mexican food of some kind at least once a week, so I always have fresh cilantro in my house. It says that you can take the leaves off very easily with a box grater. Apparently you take the stem. You fish it through. Oh, okay, yeah. That took the leaves off, it broke the stem halfway through, but it took the leaves off. Let's put it the rest of the way through. Oh, so yeah. Oh, I like this one. I gotta be careful though with my hands because of mine, my box grater's crazy, but. <laughs> yeah, check that out. This pot of water right here is going to be for the next four hacks. Hack number one, you guys have seen on my channel forever. If you're gonna be boiling a pot of water, put a wooden spoon over the top and it won't boil over. Hack number two, if you don't have a wooden spoon or you forget to put it over the top and it's about to boil over, just take an ice cube and throw it in 
and it will cool it down just enough that it will not boil over. I'm hoping this will start to boil some more so that way I can show you guys. Perfect, it's boiling like crazy. Just imagine it was coming higher to the top because there's not a lot of water in this pot, but you'll see how fast it calms down. See that? Now just imagine if that was trying to boil over, it would stop that quick. Hack number three, don't put your strainer in your sink and then drain whatever you're draining into it. I'm gonna show you what you're supposed to do. What you're actually supposed to do is take your pot, take the strainer, set it inside your pot, and then drain. Let's see what happens. It all pours out. I want to be fair to this colander hack, so I'm gonna try it one more time, but I'm not boiling the water and I'm not wasting more noodles. I'm gonna use some cereal to mimic if the noodles were in the pot. This one is wider and shorter than the one I used that let everything drain out. So I'm gonna see if this makes any difference. So, there's our noodles. All right, strainer in. Okay. All right, that time it held them all in there. And hack number four, if you have the macaroni and cheese that uses one of these little sauce pouches, push all the cheese sauce to one side first. Cut open that side, as close to the edge as you can get. Lay it over the edge of your pot to where it's like right there. Put your lid on your pot and pull. Just like that. And it gets every drop of the cheese. Although, it does make a mess on my kind of lid. So if you have those thinner lids, this pot will work better. But there's all your cheese. Okay, so you know the wooden spoon works. You saw that the ice works. I've used that to save my butt a bunch of times when I couldn't find my wooden spoon. This, you know, works, but I would test your pot first before you have boiling water and everything and you're losing half of your dinner to the sink. I would try this one first with non-boiling water. And then that macaroni and cheese one, that thing is a lifesaver because it does get every single drop out. The last hack I'm gonna throw in this video for you guys is just a good old mom hack. It has nothing to do with the kitchen or anything, but I know my daughter, she's about to be three, and I still have baby wipes in my house, and I will continue to have baby wipes in my house because they're fantastic for everything. A pack of baby wipes. So you know how when you're pulling baby wipes out of the package and they all come out together like this? No. Very simple way to fix that. Hair tie, anything, rubber band of some kind. Just put it on the package like that. They'll come out one at a time. But thank you guys so much for watching this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Got a few more hacks to try around your home. I know this one wasn't mostly cleaning. It was mostly kitchen life hacks. But if you did enjoy that, let me know. Or if you want me to go back to just the cleaning ones, I can do it either way because TikTok is full of things that I can bring over here and share with you all. If you enjoyed this one, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.